Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Hello again everyone and welcome back to hopefully a very normal episode today. Yesterday I had a few too many different technical difficulties, but today I am hoping things just go smooth sailing. I'm going to run straight down here to the trees and get chopping because I do want to top up my favour before I leave miscellanea. I hopefully now have figured out all of the things that were stopping various devices from running properly. For some reason my microphone's volume had scaled really low down so it's a good job I caught that too so that my voice wasn't just like a, a tiny distant echo in the back of this entire video. I don't know why that happened but I think I'm actually going to claim this now as well because if it had gone down to 95% that means we've spent like we've got like five days built up. Seems reasonable. We'll claim this, go do the burbs and herbs, and then I think it's just going to be a combat day. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to try and do some more agility because it's quiet-ish right now. But at the same time, it's half 7 a.m. on a Saturday, so things are going to get busy sooner rather than later. I'm not sure it's really the best time to be going out into the wilderness. And if you're wondering why there was no episode on Friday, I slept through Friday. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I keep just sleeping through entire days. I was in bed for 20 hours and Friday was no longer. So that's why. I'm not complaining though. Usually I'm like pretty much an insomniac. I don't sleep very often, very frequently uh, for very long amounts of time at all. So being able to get like 20 hours of sleep, even if I wake up every hour, that's still like a blessing to me. Okay, birdhouse. So yeah, we're probably just going to be going back to the Nagua today. See if we can't just get our strength up to 65. We're about halfway through 63. So we're almost at 64 basically. It should be pretty attainable I reckon, 65 strength. I do wish we were still using mahogany birdhouses, but don't really have the time to get my craft and level up to 60. Okay, and then for the farm run, we are going to be doing the toad flax today. I checked just before starting up, and prices haven't got any better, so it is still going to be toad flax business. Though I am considering the Arvento, it's just still we'd need to boost to get there in a minute. I need more. I keep saying every single day when I draw out my Ultra Compost that I need more Ultra Compost and then I forget completely about it until the next day when I say I need more again. I feel like this series is such good training for the Gillenor Games dream that I'll, I'll probably never get. GG was why I started making content just because I thought it was so damn awesome. Like playing on a one hour limit every day, it's just like such indirect training for random timed challenges. I guess it's not just deep GG, right? There's tons of things in the community where people do time challenges. I think games within in the game, uh, one thing that RuneScape seems to thrive on way better than a lot of other MMOs. Like, I don't know because I'm not like, in touch with the scenes, but I don't feel like you ever see a group of World of Warcraft creators doing a bunch of different challenges together in-game, you know? Or something like that. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe they do. It never came up on my YouTube feed. And that was before I was even playing RuneScape that I saw GG. I managed to get this farm run done in pretty quick time, even with the miscellaneous stuff before it. Not the best haul, though. Only about 
40 Renars compared to, I don't know, sometimes we get like close to 50, is what it is. Going to Varrock, get our daily staffs from Man Like Zaf. Herbs up, staffs up, mahogany, noted, get 600 of them. Is it worth cleaning these? Probably. Am I gonna do it? Mm, no. Combat bracelet, skills, necklace. We had a wealth as well. It was dead. We should get a top up on all of those. Well, not everything's insta selling. I don't know if the price is about. Keeps putting things in slightly higher than what they should be. I don't know if I need to lower some of these or not, so I'm just going to leave them for a bit and we'll see if it gets us anywhere. I am going to top up on our little darts though. We'll get another thousand of those and we will get ourselves another thousand nature runes as well. And some more ultra compost. Alright, we did make about 600k there, but there's tons of stuff still to sell on the GE, so... Not a wholly uh, accurate representation of how much we got out of miscellanea. I guess we can check today's claim to see how much it was worth. Today's claim was worth 1.1 mil. Very nice indeed. There's some seeds there that I missed, but they're not worth all. 1.1 mil. It's like double the money that we invested effectively. Just over. This time this is enough energy. If you think about it with the miscellanea as well, regardless of the stuff that we've still got to sell, we've effectively got like 4 mil here in disposable income because we've got that much in our miscellanea. So in terms of like how much cash we currently have, it's basically 4 mil. Okay, this will do. Really hard to tell which ones are threes and fours. Runelight, please put more moonlight potion into your item charges feature please i'm begging all right folks i'll see you when something interesting happens Ooh, a hard clue out of me and all my viewers combined i'm probably the only one of us that gets excited about a hard clue <laughs> most people hate karazi steps but i'm not that mad about that like that's not terrible right that's doable. It's a doable step. It's not amazing though either. Let's have a look. Down this way. We can't do achievement kit. So we can go CKR and just like... Yeah, it's not that bad that one. Pretty close to, to Shiloh Village. You know I can't help myself. I probably won't do it today though because we're here with like a full invent of potions. So like... Gonna stay here and get my value out of it now, but it'll be there for whenever we have a few minutes spare and we're not sure what to do with. It is nice to just have a clue in the bank for those opportunities, because they do come up more often than you'd expect here on the series. With the way that, like, it's never worth staying longer than we have to somewhere, it often means that, you know, if we finish our goal, like, if our goal was to get 65 strength and then we were done here, which it quite feasibly could be in a lot of circumstances, like it was for defense, then we'd be leaving as soon as we got 65. And that could leave me with five minutes of space at the end of the day where I'm like, oh shit, I only need two minutes of my bird I'll run. Now I've got three minutes. What do I do with those three minutes? Well, three minutes, perfect. Go do a Karazi jump or step. Ah, and there is 64 strength. What it's worth, we are working at 100k strength XP an hour at the minute with 33k hit points coming in. Can't tell if we just de aggroed, we might have. Yeah, it looks like it. We're still at plus 14, plus 14. Oh, that was something I said yesterday that I totally didn't get in the the commentary that I ended up doing. I think the way I'm going to treat it, because I need both attack and strength levels, I'm going to try and keep my potion buffs balanced. So what I mean by that is, at the minute, I'm getting four, plus 14 from both my attack and strength on the Moonlight Potion. When one of those goes up, so when strength goes up to plus 15, that's when I'm going to swap it over and start training my attack. Which I think maybe the next level, because it's it's been like this since we were on 61. 
65 probably seems like a, a reasonable enough jump for it to go up. I'm hoping it will, because 65, 65 will be a nice split to have in each to get me started. So yeah, that's the plan. Once my strength goes up to plus 15, that's when I'll swap over to attack until that's up to plus 15, and then we'll go back to strength again. So we are expecting another strength level today for anyone curious. Got about 22 minutes expected till we get it, so... We should hit that 65 right near the end of our day. Oh, I just saw an 18 on the max hit splat. That means our max hit's gone up from... One of them saw 17. It must be a 17, 18, because I've seen a, a max 17 and I've seen a max 18 now. So it must be a 17, 18 for a 35 combined. Dude, actually gain a max hit with that level. There, there's our 18 again. Yeah. It looks like we got an 1817 now. It's very nice. Haven't seen it yet though. The the full full. Seen both halves independently. Keep seeing the individual parts of it. I'll see an 185 and a, a 178 or something and 1417, we still haven't seen it, but it is there, it exists, and I know it. I've maxed it. It's 35. Just show me the money. And there is 65 strength. Quick check. No, it's still on plus 14, plus 14. That means I'm staying on strength for now. I was planning to do them both to 65, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe we do do the attack next. Maybe we don't, though. I'm going to get out of here in a couple of minutes. I'll probably end up going to do that clue step real quick. It's got a decent amount of sulfuric essence today, so I'm going to turn it in, even though I have no plans to do it in crafting. Didn't end up turning in yesterday, because we just didn't have that much. It didn't feel worth it, but when you got 50... Seems kind of silly not to just go get the free XP. Anything nice? No. Still no sulfur blades in 812 kills. Absolutely wild. Thanks for the 2.5k. Let's go to LMS for a reset. The worlds are pretty quiet still. I probably could have got away with doing the world the agility. But it's fine. We had a very solid day getting our attack up instead. Definitely not upset about that one. Let's go do a bird house run. Maybe that was dumb of me to think I can get the clue done in, in that much time, but I'm going to give it a whack. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. I believe the fairy ring we want is CKR. Should have probably bought some sort of energy as well. Bit of a goof. Okay, we're going to go straight to the monastery. No time to waste. I think it's CKR. Please be right. Gotta just have faith in yourself sometimes. Yeah, I definitely should have brought energy though. I feel like we're gonna end up walking towards the fucking dig spot. I didn't bring a clue either. Oh, what an absolute fuckwit. What an absolute loser. What an absolute waste, man. You may, may be wondering why I'm just running this way instead. Yeah, I'm going to the bank of Shiloh Village so I can get teleports and go to the GE. Because this is dreadful. This is just dreadful. Terrible way to end my day, but oh well. We did have a really good day other than this. Maybe we'll just get to the GE in time. Nah, we're not going to get the, this show for set. I was hoping I could adjust my prices on some of the other stuff, because some of it just hasn't sold. But it's not looking like it. Nests, that's it. Oh, I only put one of them up. No! Oh, one nest got sold. It is what it is. Apparently we've got about 400k there. If I just clean those, they'd probably sell. So maybe I should just clean all of these that I can and they might sell tomorrow. We got a few beds there, so some coal. Ooh, excuse me, some coal and iron there as well. That does need selling. Nothing too crazy though. I could do with probably giving my bank a bit of an organise at some point, but who has session time to do that? There's too many other things to do. Look at that, 30 gold rings just sat gathering dust from this. Uh, we don't have any seeds for tomorrow, so I am going to have to buy some at the top of the day. Don't want to forget about that one. But generally, things are looking pretty good here. 
we got a whole bunch of XP today, and we're up to 1.6 mil with two and a half still in miscellaneous. Just casually sat there waiting. We are making money daily now, like just for our herbs, our burbs, and it's more noticeable now because I'm not like spending money every day buying upgrades for the account. We've already got the Fury and the Brim, which are the main two upgrades. We spent like a mil over a mil on Obsidian, but we'll get rid of that eventually. And you know, ranged and mage, we have basically nothing now. We've got Bloodback, which is our final intended setup, so the Bloodback's good. But we don't have any of our ranged gear yet, though. Not much need to get it at the moment, given the fact that our level is already way, way up there. Yeah, the levels are coming along. Up to 65 strength now, very nice indeed. We did raise our max hit by at least one today, maybe two, hard to tell because I didn't stay for very long after getting 65. But we got 121 XP, K XP today, crazy rates man. I don't think anywhere other than the Sulfur Nagua could be doing this for us. Probably Scurry is not far behind, but without testing it with the Bone Mace, it's hard to tell. And it's a lot more effort, and it's not free to be there the same. You get more profit, potentially, as well, but it's not free. So, you know, we can't just stay there with infinite prayer the same as we can at Nagua. We managed to get 26,000 magic XP as well. We are getting closer and closer to a level 68, where we'll like, get Bloodburst unlocked. 300 Alks, roughly, to the next level. The woodcutting we don't really count. Standard farmer and... Uh, 20,000 hit points XP, very nice. Slow and steady, almost up to 70 now. We might get there in the next day of training based on the kill count there that's needed for the next level, whenever the next day of Sulfur Nagur training is. 62k strength XP is a huge amount. Of course, that's where the bulk of our XP comes in today, and just a tiny bit on runecrafting from turning in the Sulfurous Essence as well. Yeah, very, very solid day on the XP front. 120k is always nice, even in a day with quests with big XP rewards. That would be a nice score to have at the end of the day, so with no quests and no XP rewards coming in, you love to see a rate like that. It's exactly what we want on the XP tracker. Things are looking pretty good at the moment. We've got a long way to go still. Like I said, I'm aiming... Oh, I said this yesterday, but it probably got cut because I didn't have the audio. I'm aiming for 75s as my base combat stats, pretty much. Ranged is already there. Mage isn't there yet. Price fine at 70. But if I can get the others to 75 each, at the very least, strength and defense and magic. I'm not as sure about attack, though. I probably will try and get it up as high as I can anyway. But yeah, base 75s is sort of what I'm aiming for on the combat front. We're getting there. Slow and steady. But as fast as we humanly could be with the grinds in OSRS being what they are. Yeah, I'm still rambling anyway. Hopefully, today's video was a bit more normal than the previous one. I will, of course, be back tomorrow with another one, providing I don't sleep through the entire day again. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, so you don't miss any of the future content on the channel. And leave a comment down below so that the algorithm god is nice and content and happy, because we must appease her at all times. Alright, my brain's clearly stopped working on words. Look after yourselves. Be lovely to one another. I'll see you on the next one.